happening today. Canines from all 50 states and 10 countries will be on the green carpet for the beginning of the 145th Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. COVID delayed the competition and shifted the venue, but now one prize pooch will be crowned best in show. CBS News' Elise Preston has more from Terrytown. From gracefully leaping through hoops to quickly navigating mazes. Wait, 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 wait. It takes a lot to be top dog. The proper exercise is important. Nutrition is really important. And of course, skin and hair. Over the next few days, pooches and their handlers will be showing off their training, agility, and personality in this year's Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Joshua Faulkner breeds Dogo Argentino pups like seven month old Tino. The muscular hunting dog is one of four new breeds now eligible to compete. He is just everything that we hope for in a Dogo Argentino. Tenacious dog. Athletic, um, powerful. The Beaver Terrier, Belgian Lacanois, and the Barbet will also be stepping onto the green carpet at the historic Lynnhurst Estate in Terrytown, New York. The Lynnhurst Estate actually has a very long history of dog shows. There were dog shows held here for 30 years in the 70s and 80s and early 90s. The coronavirus forced the event out of Manhattan for the first time in its history, and spectators and vendors aren't allowed. Still, Faulkner says this year's show is especially important. I think people in general change their whole way of life to really adapt to being home more with their own family and spending more time with their family unit. And their dogs are an extension and their of that. Their dogs are their are their family unit. Good boy. All eyes will be on the prize pup Sunday night when one will be crowned best in show. Elise Preston, CBS News, Terrytown, New York. The Westminster officials say next year they do plan to bring the show back to Madison Square Garden here in the city.